People of all sizes, large and little, ladies and gentlemen and folks somewhere in the middle, welcome back to Sushimi's house. I'm your loving host, Master Sushimi, joined today by my sweet loving wife, Mistress Sushimi. Well, hello. And my good, good puppy son, Mr. President, a.k.a. Theodore Roosevelt, a.k.a. Teddy, who's currently cuddling in his mama's lap while chewing a bone. And we're back at it with some more Death Stranding, as you can see. Uh, we haven't recorded in a little bit because the last batch of episodes we did was like super long. We went really hard. Like three, at, almost three and a half hours. Uh, so I really just... Unintentionally. Yeah, we were just having a good time. So I didn't really need the footage. Is that... Oh, that's the cabin we need to get. Oh. Oh, God. I forgot we were trying to like meet in secret with... Yeah. Dead... No, not dead man. What's his mm. name? Uh, Cartman? No. No, you always God. do that. God damn it. He is dead, man. You were right. The oh, first time. okay. I got it right. Okay, so he's over yonder. Yeah, but we've been mainly working on Yakuza. Yeah, plus I... Uh, I'm with the Witcher. Yeah, I took a day with Marcy to do some... It's thunder. Smooth thunder. Yeah. Um, recorded in Golf Story. Yeah, we also went for like three hours, so I probably won't have to bug Marcy for more footage for a little bit. Probably like a month. I'm sure she's bad for it. Yeah. She hates you. Thanks. <laughs> Can I just talk about how nicely they did the snow in this game? It looks real good. Like you stepping in it? Do you see that? Watch when you walk. Hold on. Ugh. Well, now it's not looking very nice. See, look. Yeah, looks good. I like the way it comes up. I like the way it falls on you. Uh huh. It looks very good. What is this? Is this is a generator we just walked through. Rain or? I think it's just snow? like a like a whiteout. What is a whiteout? It's just snow so hard that you can't like see through it. Like thick ass, like a blizzard. Do you, do you know what came to mind when you said that? Is it like it's one song? Mm -hmm. I think it it goes ball so hard. Interesting. But I said it like snow so hard. Got it. See, they like mother truckers want to find me. Oh, yeah, there she is. That's why we're hearing all these weird ass noise. That's right. I think you mentioned we're due for another um, super storm. Yeah, you're about to enter time another teleport. time hop. Little beach hop. Beach going. Beach party. Yeah. Another beach party. That's, that's perfect. Sexy beach time. I have no idea how I'm gonna really get up. I guess like I'm gonna try and get here and hope for the best because I really don't know how the best way to get to this cabin. Also, I get the feeling we're gonna get interrupted by you know Irma over there. Irma? Yeah. Snowstorm Irma. You remember that big storm a couple of years back? Hurricane. The hurricane, sure, but. Hurricane Irma. Yeah. yeah, she's a bitch. She's not nice to a lot of people. Not as rude as the mother, but... Oh, I'm sure. That's just, like, the first one I could think of. Really? Yeah. The first one I always think of is Katrina. You know what? Fair. She was a huge C-word. There you go. <laughs> I think I was preoccupied I, I, with I other like, stuff in 2008. I like... That's fair. I like the, um preoccupation with the United States of personifying storms. I think that that's very cool. It's an interesting choice. And it is a choice. It is a distinct choice. And and I understand that they're like, man, we gotta keep track of all these storms. Right, we gotta classify them. But like, um, do ya? <laughs> just say there was a big <laughs> storm in 2008. Or, the, yeah, they could just say like the seventh hurricane in 2008. Right. Instead, they've got to name them all. And it's I just, like... Or, you know, the big one from 2008. Yeah. Um, the, you know, the city ender. Should I try and go that but, way? But, um... I feel like that's a mistake. 
I think it. I think it's a very interesting thing. That the, I, I don't think other countries do that. I am once again requesting your opinion. Oh well, I'm. I was asking you a question as well. I know. And I answered it already. No. I thought it was interesting. No, I asked you if other countries did do that. Not that I'm aware of. Okay. So it is. I mean, an I don't. Well, thing. they name them, but like, almost in the way that you name gods and spirits, not in the way that you name like, they name them like they're a cataclysm, not like they're your neighbor Frank. <laughs> you know? Like yeah. Like, like a, Hugo. Right. <laughs> like Hugo really fucked up my fence. That just sounds like they you got They say a, stuff like right, that. Right, that just sounds like you've got a dickhead neighbor. Like, Irma tore through this town. Right. And, like, and it's just <laughs> like, dude, somebody better arrest her. That's what, like, there's, a, there's an old Gabriel Iglesias joke where he, uh, he talks about how funny America was when we were under the reign of uh, G.W. Bush. Uh-huh. Uh, and he, he says, uh, he would say stupid shit like, uh, they would ask him, like, you, you know, uh, Mr. President, what are you going to do about... Oh, God. Jesus. You know, I definitely <laughs> thought something would catch me. And I guess it did in the end, but... Um, you know, Mr. President, what are you going to do about Hurricane Katrina? And he'd go, we're going to find her. <laughs> <laughs> that shit just stuck with do me. you think he was just being funny? I mean, yeah, he's a comedian. No! <laughs> Bush. Oh, Bush? I don't think he actually said that. I think that was just a joke said on stage, you know? I'm pretty sure he said that because I've heard that before. Outside of, like, a comedy routine. Fair enough. I don't uh, know. Oh, wait, though. He was at the end of his presidency. <laughs> he might have been checked out. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure it was like, I don't know, they've already elected Obama. I'm pretty sure he's gonna deal with right, like, it. Like, what does it matter? Because so, Obama's the one who dealt with that, right? Uh, I think in the end, yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah, that's right, because he would have been elected in 08. If he was yeah, elected in 2012. in, like, November of 08, and I think the storm probably hit during the summer. Yeah, he was checked out. Mm. Yeah. I mean, like, man, I am not interested in doing this game again. Maybe he was making fun of my ears. <laughs> I mean, to his credit, he legally can't do this gig again. <laughs> That's kind of the thing. <laughs> no, it wasn't his ears. It was Obama's ears. Right? They both kind of got shit for their ears. Oh they both got big ears. I think all older men have big ears. I think that's just a... I, I think that is like a biological thing. Like over thing. time. God, my stamina is like... Not putting up with it. It's not liking the snow. It's not liking Arma, Hugo, or, or Daphne. Let's name this storm. Uh, let's see. Cataclysm, Kate. Todrick. Todrick? What the hell kind of name is that? It's not. What is Todrick? Uh, I don't know. It kind of looks like a... I'm trying to, like, classify. Is it a kind of moon? A hurricane? They called it a supercell. Okay, so supercell... Frank. Why do you want to give it a boy name? I don't know. I feel like we give the most destructive names to female storms, and I feel like it's kind of like... Like a shitty nudge about women being more destructive. They are. Women are powerful. Okay, fine. Then her name's Samantha. Yeah, it seems like a bitchy name. Yeah. You got that, Sam? That's too. Cool. You know what? That worked in my favor. counterpart. There you go. Uh, Storm Samantha. Fun, fun story that my parents love to tell. Uh, when I was in elementary school, mm-hmm. uh, my, we didn't, I went to a school that was outside of my district because back in the 90s you could just do that apparently. And my parents didn't want me to go into the school in my district because it was uh, majority black. Just cards on the table. My parents are racist. A lot of people's was parents Is it that are. or is it just like a poor area too? I mean both, really. Okay. But their reasoning was always the African American. Okay. Yeah. I'm not proud of it. I'm just saying that's factually what I just what I, I didn't know if maybe their reasoning was like, well, no, like, it just, it was poor. It didn't have, like, very good resources, so we wanted you to go somewhere with more money. Oh, I mean, like, that is how they phrased it to me and to others. Well, maybe that actually was. That's a perfectly reasonable thing. It just... Oh, God. <laughs> I pressed the wrong button. It usually just so happens that... 
horror schools are majority minority. Oh, no, I be- I mean, I understand that is a real thing. Mm-hmm. I'm just letting you know what my parents have said verbally to me with their mouth over and over. So anyway, not the point of the story. Sorry. Uh, as a result, uh, we had to, like, carpool, because, like, they weren't going to send a school bus outside of the district. Uh, so I carpooled with a friend of my parents who also, uh, they, they paid him. So for his trouble, uh, he had a minivan and one of his, his son was like a classmate of mine and he would also pick up this girl named Samantha who for her age was quite girthy. Uh, and I would always sit next to her in the back of the uh, minivan, not by choice. It was just like, I got picked up and then she got picked up and I would just slide over to the end and she would sit in the middle and always kind of squash me. And my parents said I would cry because goddamn that bitch was heavy, and I was I was such a frail little boy. <laughs> I don't know what so to tell sensitive. you. I, no, not even like sensitive. It, babe, I was just genuinely scrawny. You would have thought I was sick. Was she that big? She was pretty big. I mean, I never took a scale to her, but she wasn't exactly this like average I, elementary school size. This is why I don't like kids. And, like, they cry. Uh, I don't remember this, but my parents yeah. always tell me that, like, she uh, she used to bring two lunches to school. Whoa. And would, like, during her, our lunchtime, our dedicated lunchtime, she would eat both of them. Both of them? Yeah. So, okay. like, where most people would have, like, a sandwich and some crackers and a juice box, just two of each. Two sandwiches, two sets of crackers, two juice boxes. Wow. That's a weird thing. See, I would understand if she was, like, I get hungry at both... 12 p.m. and 3 p.m. Right. Because I do sometimes bring two lunches to work. Of course. (laughs) But I don't eat them at the same time. Yeah. She was just having, like, a significantly larger lunch than most of the other kids. Yeah. Uh, And I'm sure she's probably grown up to be a fine, upstanding woman, but whenever I think the name Samantha, that's what I think. Just getting squished. Getting squished? Getting squished. Thankfully, it didn't happen during any kind of puberty years. That's true. It probably would have resulted in. Some you would not weird, be with me. Some weird needs. A need for squish. Got a need for squish. God, are we gonna be playing as Dead Man? See another warrior incarnation of Mads? You know it. You know, apparently that was supposed... Uh, they were working... They were kind of spitballing at a sequel for... Uh, I want to say it was Gladiator? Mm-hmm. Where... Um, that was like Spartacus's thing. He would just keep like showing up as a warrior in different times. Oh, <laughs> I was thinking about the weird plastic baby, and I was like, that's weird. No, no, no. Spartacus. I, me- I meant the Mads thing, how he's like, you know, previously we saw, we saw him as sort of like World War One. Now we're seeing what I'm presuming is World War Two, based on like the tanks and the gear. They do explain why. You keep seeing him. I mean, that makes sense. I'm sure they'll get to it. Yeah. I'm just pointing out the similarity to that. Spartacus plot that I heard about. dog.
Okay, so we are still playing Sam. I'm guessing our mission is to rescue Dead Man then? Probably, because he's got your baby. Yeah, he's got, he's got Lou. I mean, that makes sense. This isn't exactly like a weekly occurrence for us. Where should we meet? Is there anything unusual or distinct near you? I'm in the sewers. Hang on. I can see a tower through a hole. A square tower. Right above my position. Gotcha. I'll find it. Search for a sewer entrance. Can you sit tight for now? Gladly. I won't move an inch. Yeah, well, if I'm slow, you might have to. What? That warrior asshole. He wasn't after me. He was after BB. Oh, fuck me. Right. He said that anyone. like, fuck me. I it's have you. BB. <laughs> right. <laughs> Hurry the hell up, Sam. Keep it together. I'm on my way. And don't hook up BB either. He'll Whoops. Go straight to you. Oh, boy. Not that you would, since you hate them. I just did because I was scared to death. Disconnect. Now. Uh, already done. Don't let him take BB. How? If he shows up with his soldiers, what do you expect me to do? Fight back? If I, I mean, yeah. Him, BB and myself, well... Uh... You won't. I'm ending the call. Sam. It's not easy being me. No wife, no children, no friends. Any friends? So Remember that weird them. shower moment we had? Company oh. in the dead. That... That's borderline time, lovers. I made them a part of me. 70% of who I am today. But meeting you has opened my eyes. Oh. You're very special. Did you Sad. get that? No, what was it? With a hint to what he is. What he is. I missed the statement right before, like, I made them part of who I am. Uh, he, he went on about how he felt really connected to dead people. So, he made them a part of who he is, and he knows... Almost the exact percentage. 70%. Oh. So is he like a Frankenstein? Wild. Yeah, he's not actually, um, or was ever alive. Oh. He's like, um, I forget the word. A critter. He's a critter. Oh god. A tank hit me. Well, it <laughs> just took you right out, didn't it? Flattened not... you, even. I'm not in a good way. Oh, it was a really easy word. Just artificial human. Oh, okay. okay. Do you want to know what the remaining percentage is? Um... Uh... BT. No. Mm, what? Uh, 70% of his body is cadavers. The remaining 30% was grown from stem cells. Interesting. He does call himself Frankenstein's monster, so you're right on the money with that. Oh, nice. I accidentally drank my monster. I did not want to do that. I wanted to eat a bug, but I guess I can't. Isn't that neat? That is I'm neat. waiting for you to know it. I think it's very interesting. 